YouTube what's good it's your boy the American African man the past couple days I've been going through it um, I don't know what happened I feel like day seven I was okay day eight I was okay but the past couple days it's been tough for me and I can't really explain it you know like my body has energy I haven't been to the gym in a couple days my body has energy you know, mentally, I'm able to do the things I want to do, focus for the most part. Although activities of leisure that I usually partake in, like watching shows or movies, going to the movie theater, going for drives, stuff like that. I haven't really been up to it. Um, and spiritually, I haven't really been praying, meditating, any of that stuff. So I think my issue is that my mind, body, and soul are out of alignment, okay? I know I don't normally talk about this, but I think that's the issue. I think I also have some, um, I won't say that I'm at hypoglycemia stages, but I could kind of feel it coming. You know, I could kind of feel it coming, you know. So I think my uh, my body is breaking down a bit. Um, but my, my plan is to meditate, pray, and um, sleep and see how I feel. Um, I don't know if I've ever broken a fast this early. I think the earliest I've ever broken an extended fast was at 14-day mark. That was my last fast of last summer. Um, it doesn't really matter, though. At the end of the day, you got to do what's best for your, um, too much Vaseline. You got to do what's best for your, um, you know, yourself, right? Your body, whatever. Um, but, I've, yeah, I've actually been thinking about breaking my fast. Like, I've, I've actually been thinking about it, like. And it's subconscious, okay? Like, part part of partially it's my fault. Like, I've been watching some food stuff, not intentionally. It's just been happening. And then I've been thinking of food, you know, eating. But I haven't been thinking of, like eating junk food or anything. I'm just like like an avocado or some fish, you know, just like some chill shit. Um, I've been sleeping though. I think I've been getting seven hours of sleep. Like the past two days, I got seven hours of sleep. You know, I'm going to try and sleep some more. If I sleep some more today, I would have gotten eight hours of sleep, you know, this night. I'm already at seven hours, so that would be pretty dope. I don't think I've gotten eight hours of sleep in a long time. And this is like the first night. I, I almost want to say in, I can't say in months because there was just one day I got like 18 hours of sleep. But this is my first night in a long time where... I got REM sleep, like I didn't, my sleep was uninterrupted, I slept deep, you know, I slept deep for like five to seven hours. <sighs> um, yeah, I've just been going through it mentally and um, spiritually, I don't know, I always be thinking about, am I missing something, is this something I need? I know that I haven't taken snake juice in two days, and I know that's always, that's that's always like the link. But the reason I didn't take snake juice this time is I was kind of thinking about something, right? I was thinking about sodium. Like, do, do I really need to supplement sodium? I know this isn't the right time to question that sort of stuff, but I just had a thought about it. And, um, yeah, I'm always wrong when it comes to the electrolytes. I need it. I need them. It doesn't matter if my blood pressure is high. I just got to wait for it to come down a bit and just take a little bit. Watch it. Take a little bit. You know, shit like that. Yeah. I was kind of feeling myself when I saw my low, when I saw my normal blood pressure. You know, I was like, oh, shit. I never had blood pressure levels like this. And when it comes to weight, I need to, I, I'm going to stop this. Well, I don't know if I'm going to stop it. I've been weighing myself like twice, three times a day sometimes. And um, right now I'm at 227 pounds. Ah. You know, but if if I reach the 220s and I feel like shit, it doesn't really matter because when I refeed, I'm gonna refeed a lot. You know, I refeed based on how I feel for the most part. Also some subconscious shit, so I could see me refeeding to 235. I don't want to though, right? I want it to be when I finish this fast and I refeed. The highest I go is like 225, but I gotta do what's best for my body. At the end of the day, I can fast tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Like, tomorrow's another day. 
we start each day like it's a you know it's a new day because it is right we got to do what's best for us right i don't know why i'm so um gung-ho on this fasting shit but when i have a goal i'm relentless so right now my goal is what 17 days i'm on today's day 11 i can see me making it to day 17 i can see me finishing day 17 but i know that what it will take for me to get there will break me that's how i feel today again i could wake i can go to sleep now wake up and feel totally different but it's something in here it's something in here i can't explain it you know and the keto breath is very hardcore right now right and that also adds something to it. I don't know what it is, but it's like when I smell my own keto breath, it does something to me mentally. You feel me? It does something to me mentally that kind of makes me like scared, you know? And I've had keto breath while I was eating before, you know? A non-ketogenic diet. Like I was definitely, at least I thought, I was definitely out of ketosis, but the keto breath still lingered for like a week or two, you know? So I know that it's a mental thing. You know, I'm just trying to push through, though. It's day 11. <laughs> this is a 17-day fast. I know this is going to sound funny as shit, but this 17 days feels longer than that 65 days I did. I don't even remember the 65 days actually being 65 days because the, the month of January, I can't even recall a single detail about it other than that I did some shopping. I don't remember what I was doing in the month of January. It just went by like that, you know? My fan, my plan is still to fast to the end of winter, right? Winter ends on um, March 20th. I plan on breaking my fast March 21st. Um, eating, I don't know how many days I'll refeed for. I'll probably do it a little bit longer because I think one of the reasons I'm having this issue today it's because I only refed for one day, although I wanted it to be that way. But the thing is, to do 65 days, only refeed for one day, 4,200 calories, that's quite insane, you know. I never showed you guys my refeed. Let me see if I could pull that up. You know, I refed for 4,200 calories. Um, it was pretty smooth, man. Like, I had some stomach aching. After I ate my first meal, it subdued. I ate a second meal. I had a stomach ache again. It subdued. You know, just normal shit. Um, I think I ended my fast on the fourth. Was it the third? Yeah, so I'll show you guys this joint real quick. So this was my refeed on my after my 65-day water fast. So you remember, this is what I did on camera, right? The tuna, the avocado, the macadamia nuts, right? I think it was like three hours later, I had some more tuna, avocado, macadamia nuts. At this point, okay, in between this, I took a nap. At this point, I felt kind of full, okay? I felt kind of full, and it lasted for hours. So finally, at night, it subdued, and then um, I baked, right? I baked this, right? Uh, well, I cooked this on the stove, whatever. Rice cauliflower, some sauteed veggies, some collard greens, mushroom, and then a pound of drumsticks. Was it a pound? I guess it was a pound. I had a pound of drumsticks, right? So all my refeeds, right? Three refeeds. Or not really. I don't. I should say three meals. Each one was like 900 calories. I did not do this intentionally. I'm just noticing it now that they were each 900 calories. That's dope. And then this was my craving test. This is where I said, okay. Okay, so when I started refeeding, after I had my first meal, right? After I had this meal, I had already decided, yeah, I'm, I'm starting a new fast tomorrow. At that point, I don't know if I knew how many days. I think I did, yeah. I knew it was going to be 17 days. But it was after this meal that I knew that, yeah, I don't really want food. Like food is not, I don't care for it. Right. All this food that I'm eating right here is really just um, because subconsciously I be telling myself I need replenishment. Right. So there we go. I'm having some some food. And then finally, I end the night with some junk. Right. I always end my refeeds with junk. That's not true. Not always. A lot of times I end my refeeds with junk. Do I know why I do it? No. It just happens. You know, 
I end my refeeds with junk. So this is what I was addicted to after my last fast, right? After the 35 day water fast, before the 65 day water fast, right? I was addicted to Ben and Jerry's. These were my two favorite flavors. So I tested it. Now I, ha I got a pint of each, but I was only able to eat very small portions off the top, okay? I didn't want it. It didn't taste good, honestly. I, I, w I did not enjoy it, okay? So after that, I'm trying to pull up a picture, but I, I put it in one of my videos. I'm trying to pull up a picture of what I ate to end my refeed. Yeah, this is what I ate to end my refeed. That's the drumsticks, rice, cauliflower, and sauteed veggies. You feel me? So, um, why is this thing acting funny? Every time I'm trying to shoot a video. All right. So, back to this. So, yeah, and then I finished the night. Well, I got all these together, and then I had some cookies. These cookies, for some reason, I kept forcing them. I just couldn't believe that they didn't taste good to me. These are like my favorite cookies. Fudge dips, okay. Uh, Keebler. I don't know what you call them cookies, man. This is not even the right one. They weren't Nutter Butter fudge dipped. They were... Um, just in case you guys never use my fitness pal. It's pretty dope. You know, other people add shit. You can use it. I don't know. I don't know the, the 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 name of the cookie. Maybe if I Google it, they're the stripes. Yeah, they're the stripes. This is actually what I had. Okay, so we had about nine cookies. All right. Good, good. Because I knew it wasn't 900 calories. I kind of knew that what I ate wasn't 900 calories. So, yeah, even my snacks was another, you know, 900 calorie uh, or 1,000 calorie meal. And the thing is, I put nine cookies. Maybe I had six. I don't really know. But I know I had between like five to 10. But anyways, so yeah, my refeed was like 4,000 calories. And this is the exact measurements, like to the best of my ability. Even the collard greens, one cup, probably didn't have one cup. Um, you know, even the drumsticks, you know, this even counts the bone. But you know, and, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It's just an idea. My, my refeed was like a, a 4,000 calories. I felt like it was enough, but I feel like my body, it wants something. And I believe it's something sugar-based, but not not junk like this, you know, more so on a healthy carb level. But after watching this video I saw yesterday about protein, I'm looking at it and it's like, did I have enough protein? You know, um, 176 grams after 65 day water fast, that's probably the problem. You know, only had 176, you know, had a lot of fat. <laughs> didn't need it this is what I needed more protein but yeah I'm gonna push through today maybe, maybe I'll break my fast today maybe I'll break it tomorrow don't really know I hope I can push through at least to Friday it's not really for poundage to lose more pounds it's more so that I, I set that goal at 17 days and I won it that's just a thing about me. You know, the fight in the dog is there. But I, at the end of the day, I do listen to my body, you know. And um, it's been the key to my success, you know. Um, I'm two pounds away from officially being able to say I've lost 250 pounds since the beginning of my weight loss journey. I mean, technically, I probably have lost, or I should say technically, Theoretically, I probably lost two, over 250 pounds, but because I didn't, I wasn't able to properly weigh myself in the beginning of my journey because my scale was saying error. My scale only went to 446 pounds. Yeah, I don't know how much I officially weighed. But that's neither here nor there, man. It's your boy, the American African.
Thanks for rocking with me. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's see if I make it 17 days. Let's get it. <laughs>